Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today I'm going to show you how to repair a loose towel bar. Uh, you know, after a while these towel bars, they come loose and it's not to the fault of you. When you buy your towel bar, they usually come with hardware, which consists of a plate that goes behind each of these, two screws, and usually two plastic plugs. And you know what? It works. It works for a little while, but over time, it gets loose. See the towels, you put wet towels on here, it's heavy. Maybe you pull on the towel and every little tug, it starts to pull out and pull out. Maybe you have young kids at home that pull on it and it just comes loose. And then what happens is those plastic plugs, wall plugs, drywall plugs, they start to move out of the wall. The screws back out of the plugs as well. It's only plastic, right? So that's what happens. Now this is my homemade wall. The reason I'm not doing this in the home is because well, it's got better lighting out here. My towel racks are not like this at home, but I wanted to make a video of showing you how to repair this so that you only repair it once and you'll never have to go back and do it again. So this here is my lovely assistant. This wall I made for this video alone, his name is Walter. Walter, get it? I know, pretty cheap, eh? But uh, I also bought this towel rack at Value Village for five dollars just for this video and it was brand new in a package and it's an old old one because i know the store that it came from it came from a beaver lumber and we haven't had beaver lumbers in ages so anyways that aside kidding aside let's get to the repair of this towel bar all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove our towel bar so there's a little screw under here under your towel bar which will probably take like a straight screwdriver loosen that screw to take it away from the the bracket that they they use in under there that just holds it onto the bracket. So that should do that side. So we can just take our towel bar apart like this. And I'll remove this side too. Okay, so these are the brackets here. So now we're gonna take these out. So here's the plastic plugs I'm talking about. So we're just gonna grab a pair of side cutters, cut them off like that. And this side too. And then you just grab a screwdriver, poke the existing plug that's in there out. Try not to put my arm in your way so you can see what I'm doing. So you just push them through and they'll fall in behind your wall. No big deal. There we go. All right, so now here's the trick. We're gonna be using a toggle bolt like this. And what's gonna happen is, we're gonna put the bolt in here like this into this spring-loaded toggle. And, and then you're gonna squeeze this through and we're gonna put this in through the holes. And when it gets on the other side, I'll show you after, it's gonna spring load open like that and when you tighten whatever the object is that you're tightening, it grabs the wall and that's never coming out of there. Your towel bar will never come loose again or whatever else you're mounting to a wall. But first we have to make these holes bigger to fit the toggle through here because this doesn't fit in these holes. So you want to grab a drill bit big enough that is wide as your toggle so that it can go through this hole. So for our hole, we're using a half inch drill bit. Pretty big. And we'll do the two on this side as well. Because we're going to use two toggle bolts for each side. So four toggle bolts in total. Okay, now we're going to grab our brackets. And we're going to run the bolt through each one. This, this one here and this hole here. And then we're going to put it in the end of this toggle or spring-loaded mechanism. And we're just going to put it through a little bit of the way for now like this. So I'm going to get this one in and get the other ones in. Okay, now that we have our toggle bolts in place, we're going to run them through here like this. And you just got to squeeze these and push them through. And there we go. You can hear them spring open on the other side. I'll show you the other side. So here's what it's like on the other side. And when you tighten the bolts, these will grab like this. And you can see how that's never going to come loose, right? Okay, now we're going to tighten these up. And I'm going to use a cordless gun. But don't tighten it up all the way if you're using a cordless gun. 
pull on this just lightly to tighten these bolts up. It'll grab on the other side so that it'll tighten up. And just do one side at a time. Again, don't go super, super tight. We'll finish it up with a screwdriver, actually. There, good and snug. So if you think my assistant, Walter, is doing a great job, hit that thumbs up. I'll do this side now. Okay, we'll just snug this up now with our screwdriver so that we don't ruin the threads on it or break it. You don't have to go real tight. Just snug it up. Okay, now we'll put the ends of the towel bar on. We'll go under here and we'll tighten up that set screw again. There, that one's good and snug now. And I'll do this side as well. Well, hold on, we gotta put our bar in first. So we'll put our bar in. We'll put our end piece on the end here in place. And we'll tighten up our set screw. Now I'll leave a list down in the description for any of the tools that I use or where you can get those toggle bolts. There you go. If, my, if Walter wouldn't wiggle, but this towel bar is really snug now. And with those to toggle bolts back there, this towel bar will never come loose again. I guarantee it. You'd really have to yank hard down on this to get it loose again. I'll show you again what the back looks like once it's all tightened up now. I bet you've never seen a video like this. This is unique. You don't get to see the back of a wall inside your home. So as you can see, those spring-loaded flippers are out like this. And look how snug that is. Both sides, really good. So again, this is how you repair a loose towel bar. If this video helped you, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Even subscribe to Getting It Done North of Seven. That really helped me out. If anything, do it for Walter. And again, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.